Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. <clears throat> the mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. And now, with joined voices, let us proclaim the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. An appointed psalm this morning are portions of Psalm 119. We will start with Koph. I call with my whole heart, answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O that you would save me. I will keep your decrees early in the morning. I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Rish. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me according to your promise. Give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. And Shin. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I, was, I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Give peace, have they, great peace have they who love your law. From them there is no stumbling block. I have hope for your salvation, O Lord, and have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. Then Ahimaaz son of Zadok said, let me run and carry tidings to the king that the Lord has delivered him from the power of his enemies. Joab said to him, you are not to carry tidings today. You may carry tidings another day, but today you shall not do so because the king's son is dead. Then Joab said to a Cushite, go tell the king what you have seen. The Cushite bowed before Joab and ran and Ahimaaz son of Zadok and again to Joab said, Come what may, let me also run after the Cushite. Joab said, Why will you run, my son, seeing that you have no reward for the tidings? Come what may, he said, I will run. So he said to him, Run. Then Ahimaaz ran by the way of the plain, plain and outran the, outran the Cushite. 
Now David was sitting between the two gates, and the sentinel went up on the roof of the gate by the wall, and when he looked up, he saw a man running alone. And the sentinel shouted and told the king, and the king said, if he is alone, there are tidings in his mouth. And he kept coming and he drew near. And the sentinel saw another man running and the sentinel called to the gatekeeper and said, see another man running alone. And the king said, he is also bringing tidings. The sentinel said, I think the running of the first one is like the running of Ahimaaz, son of Zadok. And the king said, he is a good man and comes with good tidings. Then Ahimaaz cried out to the king, all is well. And he prostrated himself before the king with his face to the ground and said, Blessed be the Lord your God who has delivered up the men who raised their hand against my Lord the king. And the king said, Is it well with the young man Absalom? And Ahimaaz said, When Joab sent your servant, I saw a great tumult, but I do not know what it is. And the king said, Turn aside and stand here. So he turned aside and stood still. Then the Cushite came and the Cushite said, Good tidings for my lord the king, for the Lord has vindicated you this day, delivering you from the power of all who rose up against you. And the king said to the Cushite, <coughs> Is it well with the young man Absalom? And the Cushite answered, The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with the young man Absalom? And the Cushite answered, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rise up to do you harm be like that young man. The king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I have died instead of you, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In joined voices, let us proclaim together Sergei Illuminare, the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Pilots will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your wall salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not see the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark's gospel. Then they sent to him some Pharisees and some Herodians to trap him in what he said. And they came to him and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? And they answered, The emperor's. And Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a, man's brother, if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married, and when he died, left no children. And the second married her and died, leaving no children. And the third, likewise, none of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. And Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong, that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God? For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. You're quite wrong. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Together, Canticle 16, Benedictus Dominus Deus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of our sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us proclaim together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of a godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for peace. O God, the love author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you and the honor of your name. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, his guidance, and his forgiveness. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. 
granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer. God bless you. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.